Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I want to show you guys something special, something I made a long time ago but never actually bothered to share with anyone. Uh, now, this right here, I'm using uh, Toby One Kenobi's 32-bit uh, uh, inspiration texture pack. It's one of my favorite 32-bit packs. Uh, now, I'm a huge fan of the Slenderman Mythos. Uh, I did a series a while back, and it was generally pretty well received. And, you know, I just, I was really big on Slenderman because I made a lot of friends through, uh, through doing that series and uh, met a lot of people online. And, you know, I, I also really like Minecraft. It's something I'm very, I have a lot of fun with. Uh, I've met a lot of friends through that as well. And, you know, I, I thought, you know, there's no good Slenderman uh, texture packs. So what I did was I went ahead and I made a 32-bit Slenderman skin for the Enderman. I'll show you guys that right now. This might lag up, so I'm going to cut the video right here. There we go. And now, you'll notice they all look like Slenderman. They got little suits on. There's different variations. Uh, you know, they got staticky Slenderman, you got regular Slenderman, tentacle limb, uh, blood spattered Slenderman. Uh, you know, there's a red tie and black tie Slenderman. You know, because it's just. In the series that Slenderman is in, you know, he's got so many different variations of outfits and stuff that I just, it felt, wouldn't feel right if he, uh, was only given one, uh, costume in a, uh, texture edit. So, here we go, this is the Slenderman, uh, 32-bit texture edit pack. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description. It's free, no ad fly or anything, you just click it. And go download it. i uh, also show you how to install it into your texture pack. Uh, it doesn't have to be this particular texture pack, it can be any 32-bit texture pack, and I think you can probably uh, just edit it right into Minecraft.jar, but I don't think that random mods is part of uh, vanilla Minecraft, so I would download a uh, texture pack for this. And also just, you know, so they max, uh, match the, uh, the pixel count of textures around them. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap one over and show you guys how to install this. It's pretty easy. So what you're going to have to do to install this is first you're going to have to locate your uh, texture packs folder. You can do that by finding this location on your computer, or you can go through the main Minecraft menu, click on texture packs. No, it's, it's under options now. I click on texture packs and open folder, and that should take you right to this uh, location on your computer. Then you need to find the texture pack that you want. Uh, just download one, it could be any 32-bit texture pack. You can even go a uh, higher or lower resolution if you really want. doesn't really matter as long as you're using Optifine. You need Optifine in order to run this texture edit. So next you're going to find the edits that I've got. You need to include the eyes in this. Uh, open up those as well as this texture pack. Uh, you'll need 7-zip uh, or WinRAR for this. Uh, they're both pretty good programs, so the there shouldn't be any trouble finding those and uh, getting them working. And then the next thing you're going to need to do uh, is you just drag, you open up the uh, the mob folder in the texture pack, and then you uh, select all of my edits and drag them into that pack. Uh, if you do that, uh, just click OK. There should be a little box that pops up, and that's really all you need to do. Uh, if you have Optifine installed, it should have random mobs set by default, and it'll automatically uh, select and randomize skins, uh, so you'll have different Slenderman every time you find them. It's really cool, really easy, really fast, and there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the texture edit. Have a nice day.